and welcome to another video from Visconti Dave. Today uh, I'm showing off uh, a very uh, interesting pen uh, that I have from Visconti. The pen is called the Visconti Palazzo Ducali di Sassuolo. And this is actually um, created as a theme um, for the um, Palazzo Ducali di Sassuolo, the palace uh, di Cali uh, in, in Italy and so the, the story for this actually dates back uh, that the Palazzo dates back to the time of Matilda of Tuscany the palace was built on the site of a medieval castle and has changed hands numerous times throughout the centuries from the 1300s up to the present day for the whole 16th century, the building was in the possession of the Pio di Carpi family, uh, with work carried out by many artists. Franco I converted the palace while simultaneously transforming the Esti castle in Medina into the colossal urban Palazzo di Cali. In 1917, the palazzo became a temporary military bar barracks, then a meat processing and sausage company, and in 1941, handed over to the Ministry of Heritage, Cultural Activity and Tourism. And now it's actually a castle or a palace that you can actually go and visit from tourism. So, I, this is actually quite interesting. This is actually the cardboard box that you see here in front of you. Um, I've never actually seen a box like this uh, as, as detailed uh, from Visconti. So... Um, uh, there are a number of boxes that that come in sort of like sort of from from the level uh, i probably four categories maybe one that you'll chuck away one that you'll keep one that looks pretty good um and then one that's completely amazing and and this i would uh, put in the amazing category and i'll show you why if i remove the outer box and show the inner box and here it is if I zoom in a little, you'll get to see like, this actually has a metal plaque on the box lid of the uh, Palazzo di Cali. And like, it's so embossed, you, know, you can see if I zoom in a little bit more, you can see the level of detail. Uh, even the hallways in in the doorways, like it's it's a really, really good um embossing or engraving um plaque of the whole palazzo so this itself is is a very um unique box i've not seen anything like this from visconti before uh i ought to say that that not all the um uh the um palazzo de Carli's come with this box some come with the original like pleather um clamshell box but um, this one, uh, I picked it up from Chris at Truffet. When he got it in, it was uh, it was already quite a, an amazing price. I managed to get a, an even better deal from him. And this was um, just one of the uh, pieces, a single piece that he got in. And um, uh, he gets a lot on um, uh, commission coming in and, and, uh, and consignments. And this uh, was one of them. And... Um, it was just amazing. Uh, as soon as I, I saw the pictures of it, I thought, I have to have it. I really have to have this one. And I bought it. So uh, and I'll open the box and I'll show you. So you get a number of things in here. I'll show you. You get the, the instruction booklet. Uh, you actually get a certificate of authenticity. So my model is number 65 of 400 that, that were made. And then you get this really nice booklet. And it's in Italian and in English as well. Um, and it tells the story of the palazzo. Um, but it also has these like tracing paper like design sketches or imprints of the building, which is just simply amazing. Um, and then it, I'll show you the, the rear of that one. And then it actually shows you the, the building footprint, so you can see where the Galleria is. It's uh, it's actually it's quite an amazing booklet. Um, and then you, you have like the, the English uh, version, 
and right at the very end it actually shows you details about the power filler and everything like the nib and, and everything there so like I said like you don't get everything in some of these um, so this one came with with everything so uh, it actually came with the um, pen uh, it came with the um, Visconti traveling inkwell and also uh, an eyedropper um, just basically to fill the inkwell with um, and uh, this is it. So I'll show you the inkwell first. The the inkwell, like you can see more. The the orange. I try and bring a little bit more light on there, make it pop. You can see the orange there is just stunning. The the luminosity and the the uh, chatoyance on that is just amazing. Uh, so it's just a standard traveling inkwell. Um, it does have a uh, like a crown on the end, um, and uh, you just take it off, and then you can fill the inkwell there, and you can fill your pen from it. So it comes with with that, and then it comes with the pen, obviously. And um, the pen is really what I want to show you. So. This is, you can see here, so you have the uh, old style um, keel clip from Visconti, not the uh, newer bridge clip. But you can see the orange swirls there. So this material uh, is actually called the Yellow Dawn um, from Visconti. And they do a few other pens, they do some voyages in the Yellow Dawn. Uh, they uh, crop up as new old stock now and then. Um, uh, I believe most of them, if not all of them, are all sold out. Like. Ducali as well, um, but then like I'll show you. Uh, it has a, an 18 carat nib, some medium nib, and um, if I can show you there, but the uh, the the tines, the gap between the tines is actually quite a bit. So um, it is a, a juicy medium, very nice medium, and very flexy and bouncy. Um, but the, the best part of this is, if I pull the vacuum filler back a bit, a little bit of ink in there, but you can see that it's got like this imprint on the barrel uh, with black and gold uh, of the palace itself. Uh, and that, it's just an amazing pen, along with some more subtle sort of orange swirls going through the body. Um, it's just an amazing pen. Um, now, so this actually comes with uh, what I would call the second generation or Gen 2 uh, PowerVac filler. Um, I'll show you uh, what I mean by that. Um, so this is uh, a Visconti Firenze of um, Firenze, like if I unscrew this and I'll show you what I mean like this is the first generation power vac filler so you would have to like unscrew the bowel and pull this out uh, and then plunge it in and then this is your ink window here that's what I would call uh, or at least as far as I've seen is the first generation power vac filler this is the the Palazzo, Palazzo de Cali is the second generation, and I'll show you the reason why. Is that if you're careful, you can actually unscrew the section here of the barrel. Um, the the modern Powervax from Visconti do not have that feature in them. They are one cast piece. And I'll show you this in the, the London Fog. So you cannot unscrew that at all. Um, so it, it's what I would call a second generation power vac filler, but it's just stunning. So if I try to zoom in a little bit more, and you can see just not only the orange swirls there and the chatoyance you get off of it, but also the imprint of the palace on the body. It's just simply amazing. Um, so in terms of size, if I screw this down, uh, 
in terms of size, I'll show you the difference between that and the Homo sapiens. It's really sort of in terms of length, it's about the same. Uh, it's a little bit thinner uh, in in diameter. It's a very lightweight pen. Um, uh, I think it uh, comes in around about. I think off the top of my head, it's around about twenty grams. But we can we can have a look at that and see. Uh, so this is uninked. May even actually be lighter. Now there you go, 30, 30 grams. Uh, that's with the the cap though, and then without the cap, yeah. So just under nineteen grams. So it is quite a lightweight pen. Um, it is all um, like acrylic mostly uh, in terms of the body. So the body itself is very lightweight, but. Uh, it's just it's an amazing pen it, it's it's one that i i love i always uh, ink it up with orange ink uh, i think the residue of the ink that's in there at the moment uh is uh i think pelican edelstein mandarin uh which is a good ink and uh, it comes out really really nice uh so as, as you can see this is quite a special pen uh it's but with with the whole package, the box, like normally I'll just put the boxes away, or I don't normally chuck the Visconti boxes. They can always come in handy later on. Um, but uh, th this one is just stunning, and uh, with that and the not only the the box, but the the literature, the pamphlet, uh, and the the pen, along with the travelling inkwell. Uh, this, in terms of looks, is actually one of my favourite pens. Uh, I was so glad I was able to pick this up uh, from Truffaut. So when I did, it, it was uh, it was uh, a very late night that night, but uh, I'm glad that uh, um, I picked it up and added it to my collection. So there you go. That's the uh, Visconti uh, Palazzo di Cali di Sassuolo. Thanks for watching, uh, like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks very much, bye bye.